All right. Welcome to a simple install guide for Dev 3D and the generic Dev mod for Reshade, which is a add-on. So this is going to be for the game Tomb Raider Remastered 1, 2, and 3. All right, just making sure that the game's running, no weird mods or anything going crazy so we're good let's uh turn this off and let's install the uh depth 3d so first th first things first we want to head over to uh reshade.me which is the official site for reshade as you know reshade is a injector that allows post processing by a bunch of different uh people but the injector was made by crosshire this allows us to use color and depth information to produce a uh, 3D image or to modify the image in a way that you like or however you like. So once you're here at the website, click on download. And normally you want to download the first one, but in this case we want to modify the uh, want to modify the add-on or use the add-on that was modified for reshade. So we want to click on the second link here. I will place all the links in the description so don't worry about that click OK save this the second thing you want to do is click on the news tab I mean not click on the news tab well go to this link which is depth3d.info uh, hit enter uh, I will also post this link below and this will bring you to this website which is the uh, front landing page for github in this case download go all the way to the bottom don't download i mean click or uh, i should make this clickable next time but copy this link and it should take you to my discord right just gonna continue oh wait well i guess it's already but that should take you to the discord i guess it didn't hyperlink because i'm in streamer mode and you want to download this thing right here which is the uh, generic modded add-on click on download I recently updated just a little bit a while ago um, click on save and save all right do that that should be in here right so first thing you want to do is install reshade so let's install reshade click OK click on browse well you can you can either um, you can find it in here if it pops up in here. It'll take some time to populate if you have a lot of games. But in, in this case, click on Browse. Um, you can grab this link by clicking Properties Manage and Browse Local Files. And you can copy this right here and place it in here. Right? And then click on this. Let's close that. I'll probably need that later. Uh, click on Open click on next and this game runs it, it should automatically detect it for you and this game runs under OpenGL as uh, not many people know but Reshade runs on multiple APIs that means if you have a Vulkan game OpenGL game DirectX 10 11 12 9 if you have um, if you have an older game DX8 um, you can use a wrapper for it right and uh, and even uh, OpenXR or VR games, you can run it on top of that if you want. But in this case, we want OpenGL. Click on Next. We want to uncheck All and then click on Depth 3D. Um, you can use the VR version if you're going to be using my app. But for right now, I am decommissioning that app and I will be adding it. Uh, I will be upgrading it later with the help of a friend. Um, so for now we can uncheck that and just use this or you can use this because it does have features that you may want uh, we'll, we'll use both we'll click on next and it will download the uh, shaders once this is done it should be set and sent over to um, the game basically it's set up um, here are other uh, add-ons don't you do not you do not need to download these unless you specifically need their features. Later, I will have a uh, a um, a guide for this. But for now, let's just click next. Don't click on anything. 
and click on finish. All right, so that should be installed in the game. So you right click on this, click on manage, click on browse local files. And you'll see these are already installed. But remember how I had you download the modified generic depth buffer thing? So open that. Um, and just in this case, we want the generic depth mod 64 and switch depth add on dot bat. So we're going to grab these two and just drag them over. All right. <clears throat> so uh, you all you really need to do is run this bat file once you do this. run anyways it'll say oh i did a thing right so what it did is just added a header and added a line which is called disabled add-on generic depth and added an empty line you hit okay and to check it it should look like this so uh, i guess if you trust it it should be fine but it should look like this so go to uh where the rishi diane and i and it should look exactly like that right if without this it would be empty basically right so uh, if it doesn't do that, I will also add this to the uh, description below. If you don't want, you know, if you don't want to run the bat file, you can copy this and just put it into the Rishi the INI and then click on save. Either way, it's fine. You don't have to do it, but if you don't trust the bat file, you don't need to run it. You can also copy this and place it into there. All right, so that should be done basically. Now it fun, comes the, the fun part, so we'll click on play. It should be very streamlined at this point. Uh, it will say at the top, reshade now installed, press the home key, press the home key. Uh, in this case, skip the tutorial, and we'll select the Super Depth 3D shader. So it'll be in side by side, that's default. You'll see these, where it says disable CA, B, uh, MB, Depth of Crane. Uh, there should be another uh, warning, I'll add that later, um, but in this case, ignore that, click on add-ons. Uh, you see, the what the bat file did was disable this primary one, which allowed my modified version of it to work. In here, you want to select two things. You want to select copy depth buffer before clear operations, and then you want to click on avoid primary selected clear. What that does is basically does not allow the, the second clear to be enabled. So once we're done with that, I'll show you why this is important. So we'll, we'll go into the game to get my controller ready. All right, first uh, let's jump into Lord's house real quick. Our home. Ignore all that. Fast to do that. I'll take you so it should be a 3D the the image. To go into the music room. Should be working fine, um, so that's good, right? Uh, I would like you to hit the home key again, okay. right? Let's do some tumbling. And at the bottom of here, button. you can grab this bar here, move it up, and there's a lot of settings, right? But the primary one you want to uh, look into is uh, depth adjustment. You can increase this to your desired amount, however you feel comfortable with. I'm gonna leave it around 75. Um, there's a lot of other options in here that you don't really need to mess with. Um, this will uh, be automatically uh, set for you. Uh, for the different like 3D output options, say you do use different screens, not just VR screens. We have other options for a bunch of different types of screens, right? And different outputs. So whatever you feel comfortable with. For now, I'll just go leave it side by side. I actually prefer top and bottom, but side by side is fine. And that should be set, right? This should be good since we're playing with a controller anyways. Uh, we're running around 120 FPS. That's good performance. Uh, that's the speed of my screen because it's V-synced, right? But if you're comfortable with all the settings and how it looks like right here, uh, you can mess around with them, but I, I really don't recommend it. Uh, you can click on uh, performance mode. But if you're still struggling, right? If you're still struggling, you can also lower the resolution of the depth buffer here to get a little bit more out of the... Uh, of the shader but it's not really necessary in fact um, in this case I'm gonna actually increase the increase it the usage to normal to get a little bit more detail out of the game so um, and that does lower a little bit but that's fine I guess I can do normal BRS to get a little bit FPS back and then I'll enable performance mode 
it should be 120 right all right so we're back to 120 it's good full frame rate and now press it again and quickly press one of the directions and i'll jump that way and it should be fine ready to play right you should be good right there should be no clipping with the camera uh the main hall that's what the sorry about the crates i'm having some things that's put what into the add-on actually does basically uh not the add-on the uh shader does it, it it allows for proper like um convergence whenever you move it so it doesn't like even if you try to clip it right it'll still it'll still try to correct for that kind of play gameplay all right so that's good so let me show you the issue oh yeah you can go into the old-fashioned mode oh this is rough uh okay go down to okay let's go to c Tomb Raider 3, and we're gonna go into the game. Starts off in the jungle. And the reason why you need the uh, add on to select that button is because of this, right? So if you go and pick up an item, let me uh, turn it off first. Let's uncheck that. Everything looks fine, but it's not. Right, okay, let's go pick up the item. You will see that. The depth buffer will actually clear, and that thing will come up front, right? That's not what you want. Uh, so let's go back and enable that. Now, when it clears, it shouldn't. It should leave the depth intact, basically. So you have a nice three D image. That's what it basically does. All right, so. I'm just gonna do a little bit of testing now with this game, but with other t uh, with other games, to see if um, it, it works correctly the add-on. But I will be uploading this uh, information basically today. But yeah, everything works fine. Oh, oh, I didn't. Okay, you're supposed to jump so that you don't get hurt by the spikes. But uh, oh, I ran into them. Okay, I'm not the best player right now. I, I oh yeah I need to adjust the controls with myself but yeah that's uh it should be easy everything should be like done and set and ready you can play either or whatever game you want it should be fine um, the menus are corrected and fixed you can play with the old fashioned mode or play with the new mode it it, it depends on what you want to do all right all right everything's good everything's fine let me close this. Uh, exit the game. Actually, just all of four. All right. I'll put the links down in the description. Everything should be good. Um, if you don't want a reshade, you can just run the installer again and uninstall it. Um, and it'll remove all the files that you need um, that are that would cause issues with other programs. But for now, it should be fine. All right. Other guys will come soon for different games, but it's basically the same thing. Um, like if you want to play Helldivers 2, right, the new game, it's uh, you install it the same way and you launch it and it should be fine. There shouldn't be any real issues with that. All right, then. Good luck and enjoy your game.